Hello everybody and welcome to Camtasia Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to pretty much edit a video that you wanted to record like the screen and then basically edit it for publishing to like YouTube or any other kind of video, even classrooms. So let's go ahead and open up a project. I've got one that I've got to do for Not That Guy. So just open. It will load up slowly but surely. And over here is the time. The first time is where your place marker is. And this is called your place marker, your place head. And everything that I'm telling you is based on what I personally know. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Feel free to uh, correct me in the comments. That way I know. So like I said, the first number is where your playhead is. So now it's at 22 seconds and 4 frames. It would be frames, seconds, minutes, and I believe hour. Like I said, if I'm wrong, correct me. And the second one is your total. So let's scroll all the way to the end of the video. Here's the end. And it's about 58 minutes and 58 seconds. And like I said, the last two digits are frames. If you hit left and right arrows on your keyboard, it'll go over however many, you know, per frame. So if you're being really detailed and like, okay, I want to go over just one frame instead of sitting here trying to click or drag a frame, because sometimes that's hard, you can just click the arrow keys to get exactly what you want. And then if you're not working with as great detail or you need more detail to try to get to where you're going, you can always click the, these magnifying glasses. You can zoom in and you can zoom out just by clicking these. Or you can drag this, you know, zooming out you can see the entire video. But let's say I need to get just a teeny tiny thing, I need to look at it or I need to edit it, well then we'll zoom in quite a bit so that we can see exactly what we need to see. We'll zoom back out so I'm not sitting here scrubbing all the way over. Click. Now in order to just hit play or to stop, you can either hit this button up here, play, or pause. You can also step backward, step forward. I usually don't play with these very often. Next clip, okay. So that'll be wherever you cut it or if you add another video behind it. You can also hit spacebar. As long as this down here is selected, you can hit spacebar. And welcome to my first ever playthrough. And spacebar again to pause it. So what we're going to do is listen through and if there's any pauses that are unnecessary or any other content that's unnecessary, we're going to cut it out and snip these together. Hello everyone, I am not that guy, and welcome to my first ever playthrough of Scribble Knots Unlimited. I wonder if there's a controller. Okay, so here you can see that there's a little bit of pause, but even before that, he's pretty quiet, and I personally don't think that that part is necessary. Let's listen again. I wonder if there's a controller. It's not really necessary for our listeners. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And this is the part that we don't want. I like how you can actually see the audio because then you know where to click and what to cut out. So let's select both of these and to select both you hold down shift and up here is the split. So we're going to select this button here. And as you can see it split these two videos in half. So you, they're both editable. Now what I just did there is I used a marquee to select in both two. Now in order to do that, you have to select somewhere that there's no content, either up here or here, because if you select this, you'll just be moving it. Edit undo is also control Z. That's what I use for edit undo. So now that these two are split, let's come over here right before what we want to cut out. Let's listen again. I wonder if there's a controller. Let's go back here and listen to see what's before that. Really awesome. Yeah, I like that part. So we will cut somewhere in between these two. Again, select them both, split, and now that we have this part that we don't want, I wonder if there's a controller. We select them both and hit delete. And now we select these two and move them here. Now that's called splicing, is when you move two things together or delete something in between them. Let's see what we have. Really awesome. Mm, maybe. We notice that's a little choppy. Awesome. Mm. Between there and there, and that includes the music 
that's actually in the video, and also his voice. They're both, they're kind of choppy. In order to fix that and make it seem smooth, you click on transitions, which is up here. Now if you don't see transitions down here, click on more, and it should be here. So now that we're in trans transitions, you can choose our transition to go from this video to this one. And I usually use fade because it's nice and smooth, so just click and drag. And what's nice is it highlights where you can put this. You can't put it on here because this is actually just an audio file. And let me show you. Click on this little eyeball here to turn off the track. So now you can't see it or hear it. And then you can isolate whichever track you want or if you want to listen to multiple tracks but not this one. That's what the eyeball is for. You can shut it off and turn it back on. So let's see, let's hear what this sounds like. It's awful quiet, but you can still hear how it all of a sudden jumps. So there is a way to fix that, and I can show you. We will click on this one, because this is the one that gets loud all of a sudden. And you click on audio, because that's what this is. Now when you click on audio, it brings up this green line, and this is the volume. You can turn it down, turn it up, whatever you want to do with it. But you can also, let's zoom in just a little more go to the beginning of this and you can fade in now let's listen and it fades in however you notice that this one just all of a sudden stops and that's still kind of noticeable so let's select this one and click fade out now let's listen It's a much better transition than before. You don't it won't even be noticeable. So now I can show you what else you can do. This key point, these little dots are considered key points. You can click and drag them. And that way you're not making all of this stuff quiet either, but yet you still have your transition, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna move these closer together. That way it's a quicker fade and not so long, and you're not getting rid of all of this extra sound. Let's listen in. Okay, I think that sounds good. Now, let's turn this one back on, and let's see what we have. Really awesome. Mm, maybe. Now that, I think, looks much better. It's a nice fade, it's a nice transition all together. Julie. Is that? You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Okay, here's an example. Let's say this might be too quiet and you, you know you the viewers won't be able to hear it very well. So what we can do, let's see, it looks like the talking on the video doesn't start till right about here. Instead of splicing the video, what you can do is select it, put your place marker where you want it, go to audio, and add audio point or key point. You have to add two anger points because this one is your stop marker like you want it to be what is this at about 95 percent or so but you want this one to be a little bit louder so you have to add two of them side by side and then you can either grab your key point or grab this line and turn it up let's see if it's too loud oh. our story begins with definitely too loud so if you wanted to quiet it or make it louder you can from there. With Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. Is that? You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. That is the voice Edgar would of Court. Brush away oh, no. vines or open <laughs> Just in case you guys didn't know. Um, so anyway, so let's say we don't want this in here at all, but we still need the video because this is all this is the video and not that guy's audio. So let's say we still need the video, but we don't want that audio. So what do you do? You go somewhere before it, add audio point, go a little bit after, and like I said, you can click and drag, or you can use the arrow keys left and right. Add another audio point, and let's see, there's probably audio that we do need over here. So before we turn this all the way down, let's just move it after his voice. Add another one, go a little bit after, you have to make sure that's selected first, and then go a little bit after, add another audio point, and then you can just 
turn this completely down. To differ, she was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors. Ta da! And now there's no audio there. And yet there is down here. So you can play with that and edit it however you want, customize it, and things like that. So now I'm going to show you how to insert an intro. Select everything. Yes, you can hit Control A, which is select all. And let's move this a ways because we're going to put some words in the beginning and give it an intro. So I have already created things. Let's see, go to clip bin. Clip in is where all of your uh, media will be, such as pictures, music, videos, anything you import pretty much. Library is basically Camtasia's own clips and other things like that. And I've used some of these. Some of these are fairly nice. I haven't had a chance to go through them all, but I should because I'm sure some of them are so good that I'd probably just use Camtasia stuff. Callouts. I use callouts to add text. You can click add callout or I just selected the shape and then you can add text on top of it. I'm going to put not that guy. Okay. Select all. You can change the font size. You can change the font type and also the color. And as you can see I have not that guy here but it looks like it doesn't all show and that's because you just need to make this bigger so that it all fits. You can also change your shape or no border, no fill, and no shadow because then it's just text. Oops, you gotta have it all selected before you can do anything with it. There we go. Ta-da! And from there it just kind of pops in and fades out. It automatically has a fade in and fade out. There's your fade in, here's your fade out, and if you don't want anything just go to zero. If you want a long fade in, you can go up to five seconds it looks like. Here's where it shows. Oh, maybe. Now like I said you have to have the timeline down here selected so just click anywhere down here in order for it to show up when you hit the spacebar. Da 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 da! Okay, that's really long, so let's turn that back down to something like that. Or you can actually select this and type it in manually if you want to be specific. So that's how you insert text, like if you're doing subtitles or anything like that. You just move it down to the bottom, probably make it smaller or whatever, and add your subtitles um, in and out as you go. You can make it longer by clicking and dragging as well. Say I want it on there for quite a while. Da, 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 da. And it'll stay on there for however long. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to insert, or rather import media, and use your own text, your own logos, your own images. Here's his avatar. You can also select more than one thing. Sometimes I forget that. Okay, so now we've got his logo and his little avatar. Let's go ahead and bring this in, and I just created a new track by bringing it in and setting it on top of my already made tracks. Make it a little longer. I'm going to zoom in. You can do lots of things with this guy. You can make him peek in, you can slide him in, you can spin him in, you can do a lot of different things. But let's just go ahead and have him slide in. So we're going to start, make sure it's the right size, and I think he's about right. Start down here. I just zoomed out by using my scroller on my mouse. You can also zoom in and out here. 100, 25, shrink to fit. And if you're trying to zoom into something but you want it over here, you can hold down spacebar and click and drag to where you need to go. I use that a lot too when I'm working with specific details. Okay, so we've got not that guy down here. And we want him to slowly rise up like he's just popping in. So we start here, back down here in the timeline, and let's go... Okay, here is where I put my key point. Right here is where I think roughly we want him already in the shot. So move your header wherever you want him in the shot, and let's go to Visual Properties. Visual Properties works for text, it works for pings, 
JPEGs works for quite a bit of visual media. We have to select the ping, add animation, and as you can see it put in an arrow. So it's going to move from here to here. By the time the anchor point or the header gets here, we want him to be up here. I know it sounds all confusing, but it makes sense once I hit play. Boop, and there he is. Now if that was too fast, you can always make it longer by clicking and dragging that or this. He comes in a lot slower, but if you want it to pop in fast, just shorten that up. You can click and drag the big dot or the little white dot. Boop, there he is. So now that we've got him popping in, let's go ahead and add his logo, probably up here somewhere. So go back to the clip bin, click and drag, we'll put it right about there. Okay, so that's a little bit of too much wait time, so let's move this back. Okay, so that's about the right timing for that to pop in, but that's not how I want that to pop in, or the position, obviously. So what we can do is move it up here, make it a little smaller so it doesn't get cut off by anything over there, put it right about there. Now, if you like the whole just popping in effect, which looks pretty good, you can leave it, or you can fade this in. That's under Transitions. You can fade it in. Ta -da. You can also make that fade quicker by clicking and dragging this shorter. Or you can make it really long and slow. Dramatic. Okay. But if you don't like that, you can click on it because it's blue when it's not selected. When it's selected, it's yellow. And you can hit delete. You can do checkerboard. Um, you guys can check all these out yourselves. That looks alright. We'll do that. Not that guy. Okay, so now I want to introduce the name of the game. So I don't have to make many more tracks. I'm going to select these two. And I'm actually going to bring them down to track one. That way I've got these two tracks to play with and I'm not just stacking track on top of track on top of track. So let's go ahead and grab some text. We'll add a call out. And it's going to say in. Because it's going to say not that guy in, and then the name of the game. Let's pick a different font. Eh, that'll work. It's just a short word, it's not too important, so the, the font doesn't really matter what it is. The text, we can do red to match a shirt, or we can do pretty much any color. And if you're trying to get a very specific color, like let's say I don't think that red's the color of a shirt, but I really want the color of a shirt, you go to select colors. It gives you the eyedropper. Okay, so I'm going to make this text box smaller. And there you have that. So let's see how this whole thing works. Okay, so we want to bring this out longer so that it lasts as long as his avatar is there, because we don't want it to be too short, like this, and then that go out while everything else is still there. So let's make this longer. So now we need the Scribble Knots Unlimited logo, because that's the game he's playing, the Scribble Knots Unlimited. And I have that on my computer, so all we have to do is go to Import Media, find where it's at, and Scribble Knots logo. And it's already a ping, so it doesn't have a background. It's pretty much ready to go for us. Oop, make it just as long as the others. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, obviously not in the right spot, size, or any of that. So let's make it bigger. Okay, so here's an example of, you know, using these track eyeballs. I want to select the in in the background, not this, but this is on top. So what you can do is either temporary, move this out of the way, you can also move your, just move your playhead, or you can deselect the track that you don't want to mess with. Ta-da! And now you can't edit it. Or what you can also do is lock it. So I can't move it or delete it or do anything with it. So now I can move this. Maybe not. Ah, there we go. Let's see. Let's move this up. 
and we can move this up as well. Unlock that. There we go. Let's zigzag. That looks okay. Especially since it's scribble nods, so it kind of looked like he was scribbling. <laughs> ah, double click it to get a preview of what it's supposed to do. See, I'm learning as we go too. Okay, so let's go back to this. Bloop. And this one I'm also going to fade in. Let's see, where's the fade? Ooh, that in was a little too long, so I'm going to shorten it up. Bring this in. See what that looks like. It's fairly tedious if you're going to edit your own videos. It is a very tedious job, and it could take up it could take hours depending on how long your video is. And this video is about an hour long, so it's going to take me quite a while to edit this video. But it is definitely worth it in the end. It gives it that nice professional look to it, I think. So that's basically how to make an intro. To end the intro, you can either just let it black out like that, or you can give it a nice fade. That way they all just kind of fade out all together. And then bring this up. Okay, let's go ahead and audio fade this in. Not quite that long. Okay. Hello, everyone. And there you have it. That's the intro into the video, the actual video content. And in order to do the outro, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. You create your avatar, create your text, and all that. What I usually do to make it easier, I select them all, I copy, control C or edit copy, come over here, paste. Ha ha ha. Ta da! And then you have it in the end as well. And usually, what I personally do is instead of it saying all this again, um, I'll go ahead and delete that and I will change this to say something else, such as. Thanks for watching, or like and subscribe. So this is the basics of editing your video. If you would like to see more, let me know in the comments below. If you want any details on how to do things, again, let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to let you know how to do different things with the audio or do different things with the um, visuals such as the actual video or text things like that so if you like this video like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye